Dan Vitale. I'm an actor and a comedian. And uh, I've been thinking about this uh, word angels. I, I, I hear a lot in, uh, you know, modern media. You see a Wayne Dyer special or a Deepak Chopra. Or you see it, you know, in writing. People talk about angels. And I, I've always heard that. And I got to be honest with you, I was always like very like kind of like rigid where I didn't really believe in anything that wasn't something that I could completely understand, you know, in this reality. But I had a couple of uh, instances over the years that made me like kind of look at things a little differently. Uh, after a long, long time drinking progressively, my alcoholism was out of control and I was a crack addict, and I was homeless, and I was broke. I wound up in upstate New York, Saranac Lake, all the way up by Canada. And I was in this long-term rehab. And uh, they give you jobs, you know? That's like how you, you know, have your keep. And one day, uh, I had to vacuum out some offices, and this young guy was uh, doing the job in the office with me, a young African-American guy from upstate New York. We barely knew each other. And he just turned to me and he said, you know, you stay sober, you get back to the city, you start working on some little clubs, working on your material, you're going to be all right. You could do it. And I remember thinking, this guy doesn't know anything about me. How does he know to say that, that that was my fear, that that was the thing I needed to hear? And then years later, I, uh, I was in a psychiatrist's office in Manhattan. I was applying for SSI. And the psychiatrist, after telling me he believed that I was bipolar and a few other things about myself, he just looked at me and said, you know, I got to tell you, you stay sober, start working on your stuff again, work some small clubs, get your confidence back, you're going to be okay. And I remember thinking, it blew my mind. Like, how did this guy know how to say what I needed to hear? And a buddy of mine, uh, Kirk, when I told him the story, he looked at me and he said, oh, that's an old spiritual concept. It's called the roving Buddha. It's when the Buddha manifests itself in any person just to tell you the message you really need to hear to get your life going. So when people talk about angels, I say now, keep your ears open, your eyes open, because you never know when you're going to hear what you need to hear.